It is an international nightmare. A well-known Southwest Florida developer is fighting for his freedom in a Mexican prison. Stephen Knight was convicted of money laundering three years ago. Tonight, he tells NBC2 investigator Jim Spiewak he never broke the law and might not last much longer in prison. Jim joins us now live from Knight's Cape Coral home. Well, as you can see, this house is nowhere near what it used to be or what it can be once again. I'm actually standing in what used to be Stephen Knight's pool in his backyard. Now, in full disclosure, he'll be the first to tell you he does have a criminal history, but he says there was nothing criminal about carrying a million bucks over the border back in 2011 after selling his boat in Mexico. This is the home. He built this from scratch. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is fabulous. Was fabulous. The littered lawn. Ooh, kind of messy out here. An empty dock, a waterless waterfall. You know, there's no one here to run it. I don't want to pay the electric anymore. Signs this house in Cape Coral is rotting away while its owner does the same. A thousand miles from home. Some things we've sold to when we needed to raise money to feed them and keep them safe. There was a time when Stephen Knight had it all. Yeah, it was pretty much the dream life. I mean, it was. Paid for it when he built the Sanibel Harbor Yacht Club. Knight's sister Bonnie Barnes remembers when he owned marinas from Tampa Bay to Key West. These ventures with this Yacht Clubs of America should have been an incredibly wonderful thing. But then uh, the economy got him. And everything, including his 80-foot boat, had to go. Knight's team of brokers and lawyers made a deal they claim followed both countries' laws to sell the boat in Mexico. That's when it happened. Sentencing them took almost two years. October 2011, Knight and his captain Davis Stevens were arrested in Mexico and later convicted of laundering nearly a million bucks in cash from the sale of the boat. They basically said that we had knowledge that the money was from an illegal source, even though they've never proven that it was from an illegal source. And I don't know from Adam where the money came from. And that is the first time we've heard from Stephen since he lived in this luxurious Cape Coral home three years ago. Now he says he barely survives in a Mexican prison cell no bigger than his old closet. Over the last three years, Knight says the Mexican government has not proven he broke any law. Government forms show his cash was counted and his declaration stamped. He says because I rented an airplane, it's a sign that we were trying to do something illegal. With no help from either government, Knight says he's suffering for something he didn't do. And they just don't care. I mean, they just do what they want to do when they want to do it. A man who once shared meals with presidents now battles cockroaches. I have a young daughter that I've never seen. I've got a fiance. I've got my family I haven't seen in three years. One day they're going to kill themselves. We can't do this anymore. We're just going to end it now. I'm like, you can't. Then they win. That's what I keep telling them. Then they win. This, they don't care if you die. Now back out here live, you can see once again the remnants of a house that's just been neglected as Stephen Knight sits in that Mexican prison cell. I reached out to both governments for comment on this case after repeated calls. I did not hear back from either of them. As for where Stephen goes from here, he has three options. He can continue out his sentence, which means he has two more years in that Mexican prison. He can be part of what's called a prisoner transfer, which means he has to admit to the guilt, but then is transferred back to the United States. Or if a judge grants his approval or his appeal, that means his charges are dropped. And he is a free man. He hopes either one of those last two options happens before the end of the year. I'm reporting live in Cape Coral, Jim Spiewak, NBC2. We'll be right back after this break.